Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build. This is the show where I build and review some of your favorite construction brick sets. I am going to be doing a set review of Lord of the Rings, this set being the Council of Elrod. It's set number 79006 and it has 243 pieces and the set comes with Elrond, Arwen, Frodo, and Gimli. And I put off buying the set for a while because it didn't look all that great to me, but I got it, I built it, and I really, really liked this set. So, let's go ahead and get into the set review. Alright guys, here is the set, the Council of Elrond, and here are the minifigures. First we got Frodo, and uh, let's see, he's got two faces, he's got kind of the worried look and the, the angry look. And uh, he comes with Sting, even though, well I guess at that point he did have it in the movie. I, I get kind of nitpicky on some of these Lego sets um, based off of movies. But anyway, I really like the, the printing on his outfit front and back. And of course, since he's a hobbit, he has those short little legs that don't move around that much. He also comes with a ring, but that's part of the set that I'll get to in just a bit. <clears throat> and now we have the other shorty in this set, Gimli. And he uh, comes with an axe. And his I'm going to take his helmet off for a minute and uh, here's his, he's got two faces, he's got those eyes and he's got the angry eyes. Let me see if I can get a better look of his outfit. I don't think I can do that without sending his head flying across the room. But anyway, uh, for the, what you can see of it, it's really nice detailing on the outfit. And also the helmet too. It's got some, uh, some printed spots on there. It's got all the Dwarvish, dwarvish language and uh, even the little emblems right there on the front are really really good. That is Gimli. And now we have Lord Elrond. And uh, his, I don't know why they do this but some, some, I like more of the plasticky hair pieces instead of the rubbery ones like this and that includes the ears and everything but they just, I don't know, they feel kinda sticky with the rubbery ones but He's got two faces, he's got that one, and he's got the smiling one. And his uh, his cape, I like, I really like the two-tone cape colors. It's got that kind of a, a yellowish orange on the inside and uh, like a burgundy red on the outside. And I like his elvish uh, outfit that's printed on there. And let's see if we can get a look at the back. Not really because it was elven here. And the way they have him set up, you know, he has his seat on the council, and um, the seats aren't really made for characters with capes, so it kind of crinkles up the cape, and um, I don't... Generally, whenever I get a set that has a character with a cape that's supposed to be sitting in something, I don't like to put them in there because it crinkles up the cape and makes them pretty, pretty messed up looking, especially with the stiffer capes like this one's made, you know, the material that this one's made out of. It definitely makes it bad over time. So there's Elrond, and then last is the daughter of Elrond, Arwen, and uh, she's got this kind of uh, bottom part that normally like the um, wizards and you know other, those other Lego minifigures have, just because they don't have legs and they tend to have the uh, like the robe or gowns or whatever like that. But we got some nice printing on the front, and uh, she has the same kind of rubbery hair like uh, Elrond does, and pop that off. She's got kind of a, a mad look, and then just the regular <laughs> regular face. And that is it for the minifigures, and here is the set, the Council of Elrond, and it, I really, really like how they've got the um, the trees and everything, like autumn colors. And then they've got this really cool, oh, don't want to show you that yet. They've got this really cool, um, like side of the roof that I don't know if that's you know that's just for looks I guess but I really like it. it's got these little stone miniature Lego people and I've always wanted to see or wanted to build a set that had these little miniature Lego minifigures in them <clears throat> just because I think they're kind of cool so I finally was able to get that with this set and here's the the council seating there's only three in uh, in this one but you know in the movie there's tons more and I kinda wish that this was a little bit of a bigger set that way it included more of the 
characters instead of just four. Like, I really would have loved to see, you know, the whole fellowship with a really big council. I'm sure somebody's made a mock of that, but, uh, you know, for, for a little set like this, I mean, it's, it's passable. And here are the, the chairs, and they have the stickers with the elvish kind of, um, artwork on them. And they're, they're okay, but like I said, they're not really meant for characters that have capes. So it kind of crushes that up. And here in the center of the table, of course, is the ring. The ring of power. And <clears throat> if you've seen any of the Lord of the Rings, but especially this one, you'll remember the scene in which Gimli tries to chop the ring and destroy it like that. But when he chops it, his axe explodes and he gets flipped back. Well, they've kind of made a play feature like that, where you sit a uh, character, probably Gimli, on there, and you push that real quick, and then the eye pops out and flips them back. So, I thought that was a really cool uh, play feature that they added right there, and I believe that's, yeah, that's a sticker that's on that piece right there, but it's <laughs> operated by pulling this in and out. So, well, actually, I just kind of messed up. There we go. And it just turns into a catapult. But anyway, I think that was a really cool addition to make this set unique and not just uh, kind of a sitting around set. <clears throat> and there's kind of random, but there's a little like a weapons holder with a bow and one of these longer swords. So I guess one goes to Elrond and one goes to Arwen. So, but yeah, all in all, it's a cool little set. And it was only like twenty four ninety nine, I think. So I mean, this is a decent little set to get for that that money and a pretty iconic scene from The Lord of the Rings. All right, guys, that is it for this set review. What did you think of it? And I'm going to start doing a little question of the day at the end of my uh, episode. So uh, the question of the day for today is, which Lord of the Rings slash Hobbit movie has been your favorite in the series? My personal favorite is the longest but the best one Return of the King, and I have uh, some sets from that sh from that movie that I'm going to be doing reviews on very very soon. But if you like this video, make sure you click that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel, where I will continue to be building and reviewing some of your favorite construction brick sets. I will see you in the next video, and as always, keep on building.